Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Bruise and Blades on this May 24th, 2020. I apologize for the fan and air conditioner noise. Can you guys hear that? Let me know. I'll turn one of them off and sweat if I have to, but I'd really, 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 really prefer not to. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Yeah, is Nick still streaming? I didn't notice he was at all. I was uh, getting ready for this, so somebody said, watch me or Nick Shabazz, so. Uh, hey, Triple E, hey, Chris P, other people I've been already been chatting with, Luca, etc. Yeah, if you guys don't know, when I, I come on here about quarter till and the chat room part is open and we sit and, and have a few giggles. It's It's fun. What is the Diablo stream? I don't know what the Diablo stream is. Background noise isn't bad. All right. Everybody let me know if it gets too bad because uh, <clears throat> I can turn off one of the fans, but my Lord, it's hot up here. We went from about 45 degrees every day, 50 degrees to 85. So it's uh, really, really, really annoying. Oh, he's streaming a video game. I don't play video games, so I can't compete with that. About as far as I get into video games is iPhone games. I've been playing... Um, uh, mostly Mario Kart and a uh, new Forza game I kind of like on the iPhone. It's kind of fun. The Protec and No Choil Warning are here. Yes, they are. The No Choil Warning has been, uh, I've been liking it a whole lot. I'm uh, waiting on some hardware. I really hoped I was going to have it yesterday. It actually made it to Rochester, but didn't make it to my house. So it'll be here Tuesday. It got to Rochester at like seven in the morning and my mail it goes out for delivery at like 6.30 or it doesn't. So I was really frustrated. I'm getting some all, all black hardware for it. So it'll look cool. Um, sometimes Pony says I got my first tender over the weekend. I've been forever ruined. Yeah, tell me about it. I got five of the freaking things now. And I, I got down, I was down to four for about 12 hours. Um, today's beer is a new one. I've already had one though. I did. I, I'm, this is not a first taste. I got a six pack of these today and it was very hot. So everybody, but this is a Goose Island summertime Kolsch. And I have to tell you, it is pretty awesome. I really do like it. Am I weird? I'm the only one I prefer beer in cans lately. I don't know. It just seems like, uh, I don't knock over cans as much as I knock over bottles. So but yeah, I spent all day today. We don't have central air. We rent, so it does, doesn't didn't come with central air. So I had to put the air conditioners in the house and all the windows today. So my back hurts. Uh, John Control says, uh, you convinced me to order Medford Slim Mini for my birthday. Congratulations. It's a really nice knife. BD Swing says, I prefer a frosty mug. I cannot be trusted with mugs around on my desk with all this stuff around. Yes, if I'm sitting at the table or I'm sitting, you know... In my living room, yes, frosty mug is nice. Depending on the beer, some of it isn't supposed to be that cold. But uh, yeah, it depends on the beer. But no, around my desk, I can't be trusted. I can't be trusted with a <laughs> with an open glass. I've already killed one computer that way. So uh, it was it was a long time ago in a galaxy far far away. six blocks from here. I've I've moved three times in the last oh eight or nine years and never moved more than four blocks so not even that three blocks yeah so the auction you guys want to know about it is for this trm neutron and a bunch of other stuff um that comes with it some other scale options that is going to start at 8 20 i will give all the details on how to do that at about 8 15 so don't start spamming me with questions. I already got spammed on Instagram and emails and everything. Some people trying to cheat and get an early bid in. Um, I'm going to start the bidding out at retail minus the parts. And then I'm sure it's going to go way above that because I know these are hard to get. Funny story on how I got this. So I want to tell you guys about this because I do have to thank Three Rivers Manufacturing for this a whole lot. This was basically donated by Three Rivers Manufacturing sort of unintentionally. So you guys know I did that. Uh, that top 10 three inch EDC knives a while ago. Well, I didn't have a Neutron because I sold my previous Neutron this very same way. I auctioned it off for charity like a year ago and for the Alzheimer's Association. 
And uh, I wanted one because that video I knew would get a lot of views and it would be pretty stupid to not have a Neutron on it. So I called up TRM. I missed the drop on it, the new ones, but I said, hey, can I get one for this video? So I did kind of use my powers just a little bit, but I had to buy it. But I, they said, yeah, we have, we have a couple left. So I bought one. It got lost in the mail. It had been sitting in, I, they're in Massachusetts. I'm one state away and it was like literally 10 days and it hadn't moved. It just said in transit, no estimated arrival date. And I'm like, guys, I really want to do this video. Is there anything you can do? And they're like, we're just going to UPS you one today. Well, they both arrived on the same day. So I wound up with two of them. So I was like, all right, well, what am I, well, what do you want me to do with this one? How about I just auction it off for charity? And they said, great. So U.S. Postal Service's screw-up is your gain and the gain of feedingamerica.org. They're a great organization. If you guys want to, don't win the auction, you just want to chip in some money to feedingamerica.org, there's a link down below. Great organization. They're really helping out a whole lot right now during all this uh, quarantine and stuff with the schools closed. A whole lot of kids not getting their free lunches. A whole lot of parents not working. Um, it's it's a great thing just to help feed kids and feed families that can't afford to feed themselves right now, especially like, you know, your, your service workers. Your, I know we're starting to open up slowly, but your restaurant workers, those kind of people, they're not they're they're not going to be back to work for a long time. So, and me being in the entertainment industry part time, I I know what those guys are going through. I, I lost. I'm still losing a whole lot of income. I'm just luckily, luckily, thank God I have a, I have a job hosting a, a stand up gig. You know, next weekend that's a drive in theater thing, which we did one a while ago, and a lot of you guys watched it. So thank you for that. I'm doing another one uh, next weekend. So I'm glad just to get those few little tiny gigs. But, um, yeah, I will agree, Richard G. USPS is doing a great job. Um, I have to say most of my stuff has been arriving early. Um, and I'm, I'm very happy about that. But this one thing just got lost for like 10 days. And then they never updated it, never said it was coming, just said in transit. That was it. And TRM and I both gave up. And I guess it was a whole mess of them they sent out the same day. But the one that UPSed me to replace this one and this one arrived on the same day. So, um, the Etsy is look for LHB art, uh, Luca, and thank you very much for doing that, Lavender Pants. I very much appreciate that. Um, and that is her mask orders are open again, by the way. I don't have the link to it. If somebody wants else wants to post the link to it, I will hit allow on it. But yeah, my wife is still making masks that I'll go to the same organization for uh, for uh, Feeding America. I right before this, I like a couple days ago when I had the idea to do this, I did search around for a better charity, maybe just see maybe there's a better one for you know, getting people who need the help during this time and I really couldn't find one. So I thought about Restaurant Workers of America, but Feeding America also helps them as well, so that's uh that's kind of why I went with that one. Um I do like uh Feeding America and and they I've looked them up, researched them like they have a giant percentage of their, you know, every, all the money goes straight to people. There's their admin costs are extremely low. So um, it's not one of these charities that, you know, 50% of the money actually just goes to pay executives. Um, it's, it's a really, really good charity. I will be hydrating frequently tonight because it's already getting warm in here. With just my fan kicked down from four to two. But yeah, here in a few minutes, I'll explain all the details on that. There's a lot, and I'm going to move all the other knives aside. We're just going to have that out for... 30 minutes and um, I can bring some other stuff out to show you, but I want it to be kind of focused on that because um, I expect the bidding to be fast and furious on this. And thank you so much to Match Anderson Knife Works for, is that it was his proper name? I'll make sure I get the proper name on it because we literally came up with this uh, four hours ago <laughs> that I reached out to him because he's making me a set of scales and I said, oh, hey, oh, hey, I'm doing this thing. Uh, do you want to do it? Match Anderson Custom Works is doing the wooden scales too, and I will show them. I have pictures on my phone because I don't even have mine yet. It does have a deep carry clip? No, it doesn't. It's bone stock other than the scale options. And honestly, I I carry neutrons. I have a neutron in my pocket today, actually. This is what I'm I'm carrying my neutron today with the amber scales. I have the wood ones coming, and I did dye some, which I will show as an example. I'm not sure I'm going to use those because I tried to get fancy and uh, it came out 
okay, but not as awesome as I was hoping it would be. But um, I have the Match Anderson scales coming for this too. And your Match Anderson scales will match my Match Anderson scales. So what is the Warrencliffe Carbon Fiber? This is a DLT exclusive Hinder XM18 with the Carbon Fiber Warthog scale. I have a regular choil. This is a no choil. I have a choil slicer with the titanium uh, warthog scales but this is the carbon fiber ones and i do have a uh all black hardware coming for it and i was really hoping i'd have that on here tonight but it didn't show up in time except the pocket clip and this are staying but every single screw and nut and everything is going to be black except the thumb stud because you can't you can't take them off you can't do that so nobody makes them for it but oh i love this freaking thing it is i love warnies this is a big old Warren Cliff. It kind of matches my half track. Um, the, we haven't started the bidding on the Neutron yet, Mike. And we're going to start in about, I will give the instructions in about four minutes and the bidding will start in nine minutes. So you made it in time. What's the knife to the right of the Neutron? This is one you're going to see review on probably tomorrow at the latest the next day. This is a Real Steel Lynx. Uh, Ivan, oh, I always forget his name. I made sure I had it up here so I'd remember. I really like his work, and then I always forget uh, his, his full name, and I don't have it up here. Um, Ivan, Ukrainian guy, awesome, awesome designs, and I really, 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 really like this thing. Um, it's just the ergonomics are great. I love the deep carriness of it, and I don't even mind somebody. Brognitz, that's his last name, Ivan Brognitz. Um what I like about it is he has a glass breaker on it, which I don't normally like glass breakers, but he explained in an article I read that it's so it looks even more like a pen when it's in your pocket, which is pretty smart. It's, you know, I, I was just going to take it off because I'm sure I have a screw that would replace there, but it's not bad. We'll get to all that in a minute, Kyle. Um, the auction has not started yet. I will explain everything in three minutes and then we will start it at 8.20 and it'll run till 8.50. So everybody's got half an hour to bid. Ivan Bragnitz. I remembered. Wow, it is warm up here. Oh, no problem. No problem, Kyle, at all. Uh, I expect people to pop in and not know what's going on. How would you know unless you follow me on Instagram or read the community page, which everybody should do, but I know not everybody does, especially that community page. They do a pretty crap job of telling you guys what's going up. So, hello, Professor EDC. Already 130 on here. Awesome. At 8.15. All I got to do is auction off a, auction off a really hard to get knife every, <laughs> every, uh, every, every week and I'll, I'll have a lot of views. Our record is 197. I wonder if we'll pass it tonight. I'm not sure. I was on MC's last night. I know he broke his. I'm still two ahead, but we're really close. I like MC's live streams too. I'm almost always on there. Do they make deep carry clips for the Neutron? No, they do not, but it's just a Benchmade whole pattern, so any Benchmade deep carry clips work. But I can tell you, I put a Neutron, I put a, I have one right here. I've put a bug out clip on them before. I don't love it. I have always taken them off again because it's too deep carry as you can see this is with a, it with a bug out clip it's too deep carry i prefer the stock clip so i put bug out clips on them before and i always took them back off again you've only got just that little bit sticking out really not a big deal i've never tried to lynch one uh missed the beer reveal it is to reveal it quickly because oh man it's gonna have a goose island summertime kolsch it's very very good i know i love them knives as light too everybody wants to compete with me tonight i just got an email from blades illustrator and it was from brian is that you libby that is knives illustrated and the email wasn't me but i probably approved it yeah i'm the editor of that publication now If the winner wants a deep carry, I'll mail Lynch to him. Oh, that's great, Match. Thank you very much. I assume that you are Match Anderson. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, my, oh, my name's on it now? Well, that's good to know. I approve them, <laughs> but I don't get them. You know, dude, I, I'm just going to say, one second and I'll do these things. I'm going to say, my last two weeks it has been a whole lot, uh, since I took over as editor of that magazine, has been a whole lot of me figuring out exactly what my job is. Because I kind of took it over in an emergency. And, um, yeah, I, do, like, I get asked to approve things and I've never heard of them before. So I'm just like, uh, yeah, it looks good. So, so, and it all usually does, but I was like, ah, so it comes from me now. That's good to know. Um, all right, let's get going. So we are going to start the auction now. We have 124 of you on here, so that's a good number. We are auctioning off. I'm going to put some of these other knives aside because this is the important part. We'll bring a few out as, as the auction starts to wear on a bit, but at least to get started. Um, and yes, I am just sitting on folded knives because it's the easiest place to put them where they're not going to be banging around against each other. And I do have to get a few things out here because it is all just one package you're bidding on. So, I'll just push this up out of frame. So, this TRM Neutron, of course, with the case... The little zipper pouch they come with, the nice embroidered ones. I don't even have that for my Neutron. My Neutron didn't come with that. Mine just came in the box. And these white scales. Now, the thing about the white scales is uh, I will dye them for you. Any freaking color you want, as long as Rit Dye More. Just search for R-I-T, Rit Dye More on Amazon. Send me a link. All I have right now is red and black. I've run out of everything else, but any color you want, if you want me to dye them, I'll dye them. The jade ones are very easy to dye as well, but I happen to prefer to dye the white ones. Be the reason being that the jade ones remain somewhat translucent. So when you think you have the color exactly perfect, then you put it on the knife and the color of the metal shining through changes the color just a little bit. Where these are completely opaque, so I like dyeing these. But any color you choose, and you're going to get another set of scales that are absolutely amazing from Match Anderson Customs. This, These wooden scales, I ordered a set for myself. He is making another set of them. He charges like 80 bucks for them. It is not enough. So that comes with it as well. So you get three different scale choices and a TRM Neutron, which I think they just did their recent run of them, so it's probably going to be a month or two before they do another one. So you can have it now. U.S. Postal Service's flub is your game. The rules are that bidding has to be... I don't remember what kind of wood it is uh, matches on here. I just picked it by how it looked. <laughs> I don't know enough about wood to care about the grain structure and stuff. I just thought it looked pretty. Um he's on here. He can, he can tell you. Um, the bidding is in Bacote. Yes. Uh, the, it is in $5 increments. Um, and you have until we're gonna start the bidding at 820. You have until 850 highest bidder wins. Shipping is included. As soon as we're done and I say who won, shoot me an email at slicydicey75 at gmail.com. I will tell you how to pay. There are fairly specific payment instructions. You have to follow those exactly because this is for charity and we don't want lots of money being taken away by other people. So please follow the payment instructions very carefully. We are going to start the bidding in just a few seconds and I will tell you the price thanks. If I say a price right now, Everybody's just going to start bidding it. Yeah, of course it comes with a sticker, Lemansky. I'm just joking. Yeah, no, it does come with a sticker. And I'll, I'll throw in as, as much as much tchotchkes as I have because it's for charity, so whatever I can get. But just be just be aware, if you choose custom dyed scales, it might take me a little while to get the dye. That's not something that Amazon is shipping quickly. I learned the hard way. So uh, if you just want me to send the knife first, then I'll do that. But you might have to wait a hot minute for the scales. And also, I don't have the ones from Match yet. I'll probably just have Match send them to you directly if that's okay with him. He's on here. Uh, but um, uh, if you want me to dye the scales, I may get the dye in two days. It may take four weeks. Who knows? So we're going to start the bidding right now. The bidding is starting at the retail price of the knife without all of the other stuff. 
$180. That is where the bidding starts. $180. So that is the opening bid. Starting now, we have the 180 to Arrow Saber. 185. 200 to Jasper Smith. 190. I'm just going to count out the high one. If you're below, already got a 200. 205 to Zach Stuff. 250 to Amateur Knives. There's the high bid right now. 300 to DTOM Knives and Gear. Wow, that's a very generous bid. Thank you very much. 300 is the high bid now to DTOM. 305 to Chris P. 325 to Eric Bowers. You're asking about early bids, Kyle. I don't look at early bids, so I don't know. Uh, we don't have Hobby Lobbies, Jeremy. We're in the north. Uh, we got 325 to Eric Bowers is the high bid right now. In the back, burping a baby. Nice post, Grady. Of course they know that it's for charity. Um, 330 to Chris P. Oh, 335 to DTOM is where we're at. 335 to DTOM is the first 335 so far. Uh, 340 to Chris P. If you're going to be negative, Nate, just get the hell out. I'm sorry to be that way, but seriously. Never been burning one of these before. Not in the mood. Amateur Knives, 345. D2M to 365. Match 1050, 350. $350, really going to a good cause. I really, I'm sure that they will very much appreciate that. that is amazing. 365 to D2M. Sorry, I missed that one. 365 is the high bid. No problem, Grady. Was much more annoyed at the other guy than you. <laughs> Three potatoes and a chihuahua. Depends on how great the chihuahua is. I don't know, some, those long-haired chihuahuas are worth like a grand. Uh... I'm going to start answering some questions as we do this because uh, we're, we're at 365 to DTOM, and I don't have my paper out to write down on, so I have to make sure I get that out. DTOM. A used Mustang. Well, I can't donate a used Mustang to, uh, to Feeding America. No, Knife Rights was last week. This is to Feeding America. Um, well, there was somebody asked me a question I was going to answer. Chris P, 375. We are up to 375 to Chris P with the frightened face in the back corner, hoping that he doesn't actually win. I'm sure it'll be good for it, though. What are the specs in this knife? It's a TRM Neutron. I just Google it. I don't really, I'm sorry to be blunt, but I don't have time to go down through specs and stuff. It's just a standard. DTOM is up to 380. By the way, uh, Feeding America, I, if you guys remember the first month of this lockdown, we started doing all the... Um, I, I did all the money from my Super Chats went straight to them, and I did a few other auctions that Southern Edge Knife Works was great and donated some stuff for. We've already given uh, $1,100 to Feeding America. So you guys are really, really helping them out a whole lot. And then last week we gave, what was it, 160 bucks wound up going to uh, Knife Rights. So um, Joshua Rape, 385 He's always in on these. DTOM, 390 I'm just going to have a page full of DTOM bids here in just a moment. Uh, yes, Arrow Saber summed up the <laughs> specs very well. Chris P, 395. Uh, has the auction passed your expectations yet? DTOM four hundred. Uh, this we're we're get, yes now it has. I thought high threes. I have to start a separate line for DTOM. Normally I have time to sit and chat with during these things, but uh, 
Grady says, how'd you get this knife? Are they, during, due to a USPS thing, we gave up on it and thought it was lost in the mail. So they sent me another one and they both arrived the same day and they agreed to help me and donate to charity. So this is, thank you very much to TRM. By the way, you guys keep asking for the, I forgot to say this at the beginning. Hopefully I have half a minute to explain this. You guys keep asking for the uh, Trade Me Anything video. It's coming up as soon as we are done here. I recorded it, it's all edited, it's all ready to go. I just have to hit publish. That is coming up as soon as we are done here. It ends with a very cool story and something awesome for Keith that is on here. So if you like Kiefer, who helps me out a lot with the moderation, um, you're gonna wanna watch till the end of this because Kiefer got, got a couple cool things out of this. He didn't win the trade, he didn't enter for it, but he is benefiting from it. So, um, and Theoretically, hopefully, some mysterious person is going to benefit from it also. So, um, yeah. Uh, hello, Stacy Bolster Blades. So, yeah, we are at 400 to D2M Knives and Gear. And thank you very much. That is a very, very generous bid. TRMs seem like awesome peeps. They are great. They're fantastic. It's a small little family-run company, and I have... They've always been really great. How much do the scales cost from TM? The scales individually, I think, they're not much. They're like 20 bucks. The scales from these these ultra fancy pants scales, I have a better close-up to. From Match Anderson are like 80, right, Match? If you're still on here, I think they were like 80, which is not enough because they are gorgeous. And so total, you're looking at retail, everything. It's like, oh, probably about 300, but... 90 for the Bacote. So, yeah. So, it's about 300, 310, but it's going to a good cause. And it's going to be a couple months before they make another batch of these. So, if you really want one right now, 400 bucks can go a long way for food. It can, especially when it's a big company like that and they have the buying power to buy, you know, a whole bunch of stuff at wholesale. So, yeah, Nate, you're right. I like too. You can really make custom scales easy for the Neutron and Atom, but hardly anybody is doing it. Uh, that's why I like that Match is, is doing them, because I've always thought that, too. I thought there'd be a huge market of custom scales for these, but I think partly TRM makes so many of them, and they don't charge a whole lot. But what he's doing is really unique. TRM doesn't do any just fancy pants, beautiful wood scales. And go check him out. He's he's uh, He's got some amazing stuff, and he just bought a really fancy new machine. Just look up Match Anderson on Facebook. Is that the best way to get to, get to you? Chris P, $405 is the high bid right now. And he said he's willing to go higher. You're not supposed to say that. That's really, really bad auctioneering. You're supposed to always act like you're out. Yes. Or Instagram. Yeah. Just look up Match Anderson. It is amazing. I will edit this down below if people are watching this later of where you can find his stuff. I forgot to include the links to that. This literally happened just a few minutes ago. D2M back there, still burping that baby for $410. I have to come up with a new auctioneer voice, but I can't do Southern. So DTOM is the high bid right now at 410 Those are my card of scales you had for one of those were awesome. Some kind of blue wormy looking ones. No, those were, uh, that was for the uh, Adam, and those were from uh, from TRM. Um, they were Micarta, I can't remember what they called them, G-Carta. Joshua raped to 415. I'm not even going to say what that note just says on my piece of paper there. Uh, just let me get my cowboy hat. I got your southern accent for you. D2M to 420. Everybody's just driving him up here. I'm going to need more paper. This is definitely the most successful auction we've ever had. This is great. This is great. It's going to make me feel like a decent human when I've just been sitting around installing air conditioners and drinking beer and complaining about how it was hot all day. I did keep my shirt on all day long, though, for the good of my family. I think installing two window air conditioners when it's, like, literally 80 degrees in the house and keeping your shirt on is... Uh, that's something to be applauded. 425 to Chris P.
And I need more paper. Here we go. I have a whole notebook's worth. I'm not usually a shirt off guy, but dude, oh my lord. I used to do a joke about that where I said I was really proud of myself. We have Joshua Rape was first at 4.30. Um, I used to joke about that, how like I was really proud of myself just because I uh, installed my air conditioners like when it was still cool out instead of naked at 2 o'clock in the morning like I usually do. Uh, 4.30's already been bid, Nate. We're at 4.30 is, is the high bid right now to Joshua Rape. DTOM is 4.35. Um, oh, I get it. Yeah. Um, I think Matt just, just does the Neutron. That's all I've seen. But I assume since he bought a new Fancy Pants machine, he's ramp, wrapping that up. Yeah, D2M is in it to win it back there. I do believe it looks like he's carrying a gun under his trench coat. Uh, what do you think of this... Spider Co catalog for negative, Brian. I'm not sure what you mean there. What do I think is negative about it? I just there was a few things I wanted, but nothing really blew my skirt up other than that uh, that new sleesh. What is it? The it's not Barlow. What did they call that one? Swayback. That one looked cool. And I'm sure I'll try some of the other ones, and I might get surprised. I got surprised by some this time, like the Watu. I love that thing. Didn't expect to like that at all. Siren didn't care for it, DWF. Did not care for it. Just wasn't my... Wasn't my cup of tea. I know several, I know several people I really respect who have it and like it. So, yeah, the high bid is DTOM to 435. Perpetua. The Perpetua is going to be featured in a video on the morrow, actually. And I guess I'll give it away. Tomorrow's tomorrow night's video is uh top ten most underrated knives, and the uh Perpetua is one of them. Congratulations, Robert. Just got a Microtech LEDT. Awesome, awesome knife. I carried the neutron and spider core resilience today. I had the Delica in Pack of Wood this morning. And I had it right here a second ago, and I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. I had this this morning, and then midway through the day, I don't know why, I just I switched to the Neutron. This is the Amber Neutron, but I'm going to have the same awesome-looking scales that you guys are going to be getting uh, on it very soon. So not only will you have an awesome wooden one, it will match Slicey Dicey's, if that means anything to you. Probably shouldn't, but if it does... You're the Spider Co. doll to Lara. I don't even know what that is. Um, are these the scales you're planning on dyeing? Yes, it comes with these white scales. I'll dye them any freaking color that you want. No, I did dye my own already. Um, I got some white ones as well. So this isn't the best. Trust me, single color dye. I can nail it every single time. I've gotten really, really good at it, especially on just this plain white. It's not hard at all. I tried to two-tone my own white ones. They came out okay, but that's what I got. I kind of wanted it to be more blackish gray up here, the part that's sticking out, and purple going down. And they look all right, but they don't exactly match. The other side, the purple came out just a tiny bit lighter, and I can't go back and fix it now because I should have waited for the purple to settle in. I would have put the other one in the purple a little bit longer. But they looked perfectly matched until I let them settle in. And then the other one's like, the purple's just half a shade lighter. No one would ever notice, but it bothers me. So only one color. I don't want to try and do any more fades. So the high bid is 435 to DTOM. Saying that, we just order your first hinder. What'd you get? We have 15 minutes up. See you later, Professor EDC. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, the fade came out good. I was happy with the fade, how the fade came out. I just screwed up by not letting the purple settle in before I dipped it back again. If I let the purple settle in, I'd have realized, well, here's the other one. The other one's just like half a shade lighter. So the fades look good on them, but it's just a little bit lighter and now there's nothing I can do about it other than just dye them black. So it's probably what's gonna happen to them, but whatever. Yeah, wasn't that a thing that I accidentally started on the YouTubes? I hope that some of you guys, since you're here, and I hope that you're like my fans, um, I did that video about the uh, um, the S45VN uh, PM2 and my little rant about Spyderco's, and everybody was saying that I was saying that Spyderco should stop making Spyderco's. That is, or stop, should stop making a sprint runs. That's not what I said at all. I said they're great for collectors, but they annoy me. But I had like three other YouTubers make like rebuttal videos saying that I was saying that Spyderco should stop doing sprint runs. <laughs> I'm like, did you watch it? That is not at all what I said. I said why I'm not into them. That was it. They can do whatever the heck they want. And they don't charge a lot for them. Like they're not the ones profiting from them. I'm just not, I just choose not to feed that, not just to feed that beast, you know? It wasn't drama, they're all my friends, and I talked to all of them and said, hey, whatever. Was that a bid match, or was that just uh, trying to drive, I, I took that as you trying to uh, cheerlead from the back, like one of those guys who assists at the Barrett-Jackson auctions. Yes, exactly, Mr. McKenzie. It's the guys who sell for double. It was a bid. Okay, 450 to match we have back there then. So you get to keep your own scales. <laughs> you, you this is this is odd. You're bidding on something that you have part of it on there. I thought you were just cheerleading because it was part of yours, so I apologize. So the high bid is match 1050. Uh no, he didn't. DT went 465. All right, there we go. Taking a big swing back there. What do you think of the Kershaw uh, sprints? Well, you know, it's it's cool that they're doing them too. I have nothing against people doing sprints. It's fine. It's just I'm not going to chase them anymore. I got that S45 VM because Lavender Pants, who I think might be on here, Happened to be at the knife shop and said, hey, this one is around. And I thought that would be a cool one to put some custom scales on because I want to do an article about custom scales because I have the tool that uh, Sharp Dress Knives sent me to remove the the lanyard tube. And I don't, the only S45VN knife I have is the Freeman. And as much as I love the Freeman, it is not a normal pocket knife. So I want an S45VN and a normal pocket knife. But uh, bring it to D2M 495. Holy cow. I was not expecting this, guys. This is an awesome cause. Make sure that whoever you are sends your, your proper name. Robert Durant. No, we're at 495 now. We're way behind. Shot across the bow. It's getting heated back here, yeah. Security, please approach these people. Just stand at a safe distance. DTM 500 with an angry face. Now you've made him mad. And according to his username, he does have knives and gear. So you got to be careful. Got to be careful there. 500 bucks. You guys are awesome. I almost don't want it to go higher anymore. I kind of want it to end. I'm starting to feel kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> no, this is amazing. And we don't even have as many viewers as we usually do, which I expected when we do these auction things, we don't get as many viewers. Um, next week, we'll do something to just, just sit around and have fun, but we'll have fun here in 10 minutes. I'm going to stick around for a while longer. So um, it is a good charity, D2M. You are right. 
Stimulus checks came on Friday. Make it rain, babies. I just tuned in for the auctioneer voice. Hello, Kevin. How you doing? I didn't do much of the auctioneer voice tonight because it's been coming so fast and furious. I've just been having to keep my eyes on stuff, so. It is a good uncomfortable, Randy. Yeah, but I, I sometimes have to uh, auctioneer, or not auctioneer, uh, host these, like, auctions for charity stuff as a comedian. And, and I get so uncomfortable, too, when people are play, paying a whole ton of money. What's my cut? Nothing. I didn't pay anything for this. I don't need anything for it. It just miraculously showed up. It was lost in the mail, and then it they replaced it, and then it showed up. So you go on. The bid is at a cool five bills. Five big ones to DTOM. Sitting in the front row with shorts and sandals and black socks on. I, I'll pay the postage, that's fine, and I'll pay the time to dye the scales, whatever color you want, but, um... What's the most you've had a knife uh, go for an auction? You're looking at it. <laughs> no, postage is like, it's gonna cost me, what, eight bucks. Sandals, yes, no socks. I had a sandal dilemma today, so I've been wearing keen... Newport H2O sandals every summer for 11 or 12 years. They're finally, I have to admit, they're worn out. And I can't find the ones that I want. I may just, I'm just, I'm doing both, vaping and sipping at the same time. It's just nicotine, though. Nothing fun. Um, I uh, have been considering just going back to, like, mesh sneakers. I kind of was shopping for some Air Maxes today. Yeah, shipping's no problem. I don't mind that. Yeah, Jamie, you were awesome on my giveaway. You gave some of it back, which was really cool. Now we got to do that cool game show. Maybe I should do a game show. I can't do one next week. Week after next. Week after next, we're going to do another game show. That was a lot of fun. I think everybody really enjoyed that. Crocs? Crocs? Ugh. I'm not going to tell you to get the hell out, but wow. Air Max 95s are what I was looking for. It's like the really meshy ones. Aren't the Air Max 95s really meshy? See you later, Ocon. Watch later, though, if you can, because you are in the uh, giveaway video. Because you had a very awesome offer. So, yeah, the that uh, trade me anything, not giveaway, the trade me video. The trade me anything is coming up uh, as soon as we're done here. I mean, putting that up. 95s. Yeah, those are the ones I was looking at. What's my favorite vape juice? It's a Tsunami Tobacco. It's like the plainest possible stuff I can get. I don't like flavors at all. Oh, God, bid $9,590. You saw it. No, I don't think I could get that out of him. Now, the setup, I actually just got this. It's an Expire Breeze NXT, and it is freaking awesome. You can use the button or it auto fires. It's so cool, and it holds like a ton, and the battery lasts forever. I'm in love with this thing. It is great. I just got it yesterday. No, the high bid is 500 to DTOM. And judging by this stern silence the last few minutes, I'm guessing that's probably going to be the winner. Once we start getting closer, I'll start counting down, and I'll wave my hand when the time is up. Crocs are just disgusting. Well, I have no idea. And, 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 yeah, I always think that too about the NXT. When I probably go, NXT, it even kind of looks like the logo. They're probably going to get sued. So Air Max 95s, huh? They are, those are the really meshy ones, right? Who won the Revos? I posted to two people, or, and I haven't heard from either of them. So I'll be posting again shortly. Those videos like that, I just reply to the person, and I didn't hear from either of them, so I'll probably do another one tomorrow. Have you tried Crocs? Yes, I did. I don't like the way... I don't know. I just don't like it. 
Yeah, you can either push the button or not push the button. It's, it's either or. Bored, no more bids. Let's bring out some more knives then. If you're bored, I understand. Well, we don't have many, many viewers because we're just talking about the auction, but that's fine. We were up to like 160 at one point, so that's good. Got the uh, Protec ATAC. Still loving that. Are you going to review the new Hinder 3-inch non-flipper? No, because I really don't care that much for the 3-inch, and it just being a non-flipper isn't going to make me love it. So, um, you almost bought a Harkins yesterday. Well, if you still have the funds, I highly recommend it. They are amazing. Skechers make comfortable mesh. Yeah, I, don't, I never really like Skechers. Uh, what scales are on your bug out? They are RC Blade Works. Where did I put it? I'm literally like sitting on a bunch of knives right now because I was trying to get them out of the way fast to get the auction started. There it is. There are RC Blade Works black uh, burlap micarta. And they are awesome. He did a fantastic job with them. And then I got all the uh, blue hardware off uh, Etsy. So very, very cool. Uh, Sometimes pointy says, I'm considering a slim midi, slimmer to yours. Should I pull the trigger? I mean, if you got the means, yeah, they are not inexpensive, but they are extremely nice. I do really like them a whole lot. Uh, wish Medford funny mocks were more uniform on both sides. My OCD kicks in when I look at the front lights. Yeah, I noticed that, like, Bakken, when I got mine, I don't mind that it's like that. That doesn't really bother me. But I only saw pictures of it from one side when I traded with a guy. I didn't realize it was going to be different on the other side. But you know what? It's fine. I like it a whole lot. It's still pretty. It's right here, actually. It's buried under those scales that I was showing you earlier. So, I mean, I ain't going to complain. It's still pretty. But yeah, like, all theirs are like that. They just do one color on the lock side, and then they... Especially the flame anos. Yeah. All right. Oh, hey, my wife's on here. LHB Art is, is my wife. So people were asking some questions again about your stuff. So can you try and post your link again? I know I always ask you that, but um, you can't order masks again. It's just going to take her a few days to make them because now they are made to order. Initially, she made some. It won't let you? Well, text it to me. It should, if you do that, just make me approve it. Normally, it just comes up and says unapproved. Uh, oh yeah, smash the like button. I never remember to remind everybody to do that, which is annoying. Oh, somebody just sent me a discount code for Keens. Thank you, whoever that was. Still kind of leaning towards Air Maxes though, but we'll see. Boo. Yeah, just text it to me, Lori, and I'll I'll post it up. Yeah, I got the discount code for the Keens. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate it. Still kind of leaning towards some Air Maxes, though. i become kind of a sneaker nerd at the time. I had to promise my wife today that if I got um, if I got a pair of Air Maxes, I had to get rid of two pairs of my sneakers. So that's the price I'm going to pay. Um, it's per this one is absolutely perfect. So it's the one that I got them both the same day. It's centering's dead on. Action is great. I've been consciously trying not to flip this because it is someone else's. But uh, yeah, I've got lockups really good. Yeah, fine. I'll probably get a pair of Air Maxes. I'm going to wait till I have a discount code somewhere or something, though. Uh, how much are these new? 180, and then it's got an extra set of scales, and then another 90 for the scales. So, yes, D2M knows he's over. We're paying for charity, so um, yes, and she does have new patterns. So, text me the link so I can cut and paste it. But 180, and then they only come out like every couple months. Ninety for the wood scales that are these ones that match. That's on here. Match 1050 makes these. Match Anderson Custom Works. They are very, very pretty. I've got a pair coming for myself. Oh, you can't link it. Okay, I get it now. 
Let me see if I can find it. And bidding is going to close in one minute. So we are to DTOM for $500. One minute. Any final bids? DTOM is going to get it for $500, which is more than I was expecting. So very happy with that. That went that yeah that got that got out of hand. All right, it was a little less than a minute. I'm gonna call it. It is eight fifty. No more bids. DTOM is the winner for five hundred dollars. Thank you so much. That is amazing. It will be all of it going to uh, feedingamerica.org and. I bet I can convince my wife to throw in a slicey dicey mask. So, uh, not a slicey dicey mask, one of her masks, an LHB art mask. <laughs> I'm sure she'll throw one of those in uh, as well. And uh, yeah, and if just email me at uh, slicey dicey 75 at gmail.com and let me know what color you want your scales. If you want them colored, if you don't, I will not take offense to that. So, yeah, <laughs> I feel like I eat a lot, so I should give back. That's a good That's a good thinking. That works. Yeah, just shoot me an email as soon as you can, and I'll send you a link of how to pay for stuff. Uh, it's not complicated, but you really got to follow it exactly as it is, or um, other people are going to get a lot of money, and I don't want them to. So uh, thank you guys very much. I'm putting this right back in the zipper pouch. You're seeing me do it. It shall not leave it again until it is in your hands. There we go. It is a very giving community. You are right, Jamie D. And you're one of them. You, you kicked something back that we did for a fun little... to let us have some fun. That was cool. Let's bring out some different knives here. I'll stick around for another... Um, yeah, and the, all the money from her mask goes to Feeding America as well. I said that earlier. Um, bring the Freeman back out. Some of you guys seem to like... You wanted to ask questions about that. This is one that's got... I was eating cookies earlier. It's got cookie crumbs on it. I could have, but you know, I got two of them. What do I need? What do I need two of them for? That just seems kind of silly. With it, just seemed natural to when people are having a much harder time than I am, uh, just to do that. So, I have plenty of knives. I can cut things. There is nothing in this in this house that is uh, in, short of being cut. See you later, Lori. Where's the Freeman? It's right there. The one that says Freeman and the big letters on it. Right around there. Oh, are you going live tonight too, Zach? Now we can just have fun and hang out for a little bit. Oh, you're still at work. Any other auction auctions happening today? Nope, it was just that one. I'm going to be putting some more stuff up on the for sale page. So uh, the you Patreon guys have been snaking up a whole lot of stuff. When's the Malibu coming back out? Oh, I can bring the Malibu out. I've got it right here. I had put it in its case because I was doing some uh, review stuff. But yeah, we can do Malibu. Yeah, we'll do Malibu instead of ATAC, even though the ATAC is very, very pretty. Um, but yeah, there will be some other cool stuff coming up on the, uh, on the Patreon page for sale, if you guys are a part of that, because, uh, I have something I really want to buy, <laughs> so I might be, uh, I'm gonna have to sell one knife to buy some Air Maxes, and then I might have to sell a couple more to get the other thing I want. The Shamweary drop, yeah, that was frustrating. Did anybody else sit around and waste half an hour trying to get on to buy that, uh, that... Garrett Bull, Sham Weary. Not selling the Malibu. If you listen closely, you're going to hear my wife yell at the dog here in just a moment. Did you see a report a few weeks ago that the people who use nicotine are at much lower risk than coronavirus? So much of a... Wow, that's amazing. Yes, join us. And then Patreon stuff. Yeah, I think you guys, man, some of the Patreon people have been snapping stuff up. That's why I haven't had, like, a big sale on here. 
because the Patreon guys, I give everybody 24 hours notice. And I still I have enough to do a knife sale, but um, I've been getting a lot of stuff just uh, snapped up. No bio, Nick, not poor dog. She goes outside and barks at the neighbor's dogs and doesn't go doesn't go pee and then waits till she gets back in the house and pees in the kitchen floor. You know what it is, a patron or Patreon? Yeah, I don't even know what to call them. And I have one. Patreon supporter, I guess, is what I call it. But now that I've been told by Brent, I'm going to protect myself from the coronavirus. What kind of dog do I have? She is a one-eyed uh, schnoodle. She's a schnauzer poodle mix. It wasn't intentional. She's not like a... She's a rescue. It wasn't like a boutique thing. Like, she was bred that way. But uh, she's 12 years old, and she's kind of senile, and... Not doing so great, but uh, we love her. She's a cuddly little thing. She just barks constantly. That explains the yellow scales. Um, yeah, the, the they're, they're amber is what they call them. And they do look like, you know, amber in the natural wild. But I'm going to keep the amber ones. I was going to dye them, but I don't think I am. And then I'm getting uh, the wood ones for match, like, uh, like D2 I've just got. And I, I'll be happy with those two. That little combo. He uses Jedi mind tricks and makes you buy things. I do. I do that very much. And Israel is doing a test with CBD and steroids and to fight Kobe. I do. I take CBD too. So maybe that's why I don't have it. It is kind of egg yolky yellow, isn't it? Please fondle the Medford. In, in what way? I don't know. I feel like a, <laughs> I feel like a stripper. In what way do you want me to fondle it? I do really like this thing a whole lot. That's the other one I'm be selling some knives to get is a uh, Slim Praetorian. I really want a Slim Praetorian, so um, I'm just debating on which blade shape and which finish and all that. And <laughs> Mr. Regan says steroids, metal complex will never get COVID. No, there's no metal complex does not take steroids. He's too straight-laced for that. He's not cool enough to take steroids. I mean that in the nicest possible way. He's just a good boy. He's a good sweet boy. He would never do that. He had a whole lot of people on his last night. He almost caught me at 195. Uh, I'm late. What happened to the hinder warning? Oh, it just, it just moved a little bit. It's still around here somewhere. I don't know where. I had to move knives quickly when I did the auction and... To be more than honest, I'm not sure where I set it. I thought I was sitting on it, but I'm not. So I set it somewhere around me. I'll find it in an hour or so, probably. I'll keep looking as I'm talking and not looking at your messages. Where the hell did I put that thing? It's like a big, giant knife. Oh, I'm a blind person sometimes. Is it under a phone? Nope. I'm Johnny Two Phones over here. Not for nefarious purposes, just because I use one of them for when I'm doing this so I can still get messages and stuff. Uh, I was sitting on it folded. What's your live stream record? I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, what do you think of Benchmade Pagan? Never had that one. Don't know anything about it. One month until you get your custom Pearson. They do some awesome stuff. Johnny Two Phones is a good rap name. Yeah, I think I think you're right. You're right. I'm not going to start a career just because I thought of it. But, um, yeah. Oh, where did I put that stupid thing? I don't know. I've got pieces of paper all over with the stuff, but... I was writing down bids. Uh, record how many people in your lives a oh, record oh um uh 197 so he came really really close to me he's 195 so which city do you prefer uh the small one i actually sold the big one on through the patreon so no i like the small one i the the large one is great as well but i happen to i just happen to also um own a uh bench made uh Yep, Super Freak, so I didn't see a need to own both. Oh, by the way, OCD for EDC is a great guy, and he just went live with his own knife sale. So if you guys want to go buy more knives, guys who didn't win out, go to 
OCD for EDC. And uh, check him out. He just went live right now. So you can find him here on the YouTubes. I will not be at all upset if you leave because normally I end at this time. Um, yeah, Simon is dark. He's still liking the Protect Mail. Oh, I love it. It's still great. I actually haven't had a chance to carry it as much as I want to. But yeah, but please go check out OCD for EDC. I will not be remotely offended if you guys all bail out and go over there because he is a good dude. And I'll probably go over there in a moment myself for a little bit. So. I have some other stuff I got to do, so, but I'll be over there in a little bit. Uh, you want to watch John Grismo's videos? I've not watched any of those yet, Richard. I probably should. I can't afford a Grismo, and we do not have the same uh, aesthetic taste. Uh, how can I buy one of these? Buy one of what? My OCD for EDC is a good guy. Um... I didn't get that email, DTOM, so uh, I have no other way of getting hold of you, so try again. Slicey Dicey 75 at... There's a link down below in the thing if, if you spell it wrong or something. I just want to really want to make sure I get that. No, it's not linked, but it's a cut and paste. Yeah. S-L-I-C-E-Y-D-I-C-E-Y 75 at gmail.com. Because I didn't get it yet, and I want to make sure, for sure, that I get that. Or if you're on Instagram, you can Instagram me. I guess I was wrong about that, BD, with the Medford thing. I should apologize, Greg, about that. I guess that was a very recent change that you are allowed to take them apart now. So I kind of, I didn't go off about it. I mentioned it. But um, you are allowed to take them apart now. But they still use that proprietary pivot, so you have to manage to get the tool somewhere. But um, I guess you are allowed to take them apart now. Yeah. Keith has the power? Uh, and we have a new Patreon. So if one of your actual Christian names is Nate. Thank you very much if you're on here. Yeah, because I'm going to be selling some, a uh, couple of pretty expensive, rare ones. Uh, this, this probably, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, OCD and Molly are a lot of fun. That's why I like to go over there and hang out. Hey, Chris, you're coming in just as we're wrapping up. But yeah, OCD. Uh, DTOM, if you're still on here, I still did not get that, so. Can I do something here? Nope. Let's see if I can message him. Just want to make sure. Review the Medford Praetorian Genesis. I have not. I hadn't reviewed many Medfords at all. It was just this, and I had a production Praetorian back when that was a thing. No, I didn't get anything in the spam either. I'll check again. Let me look. There, I got it now. Got it now. Cool, cool. So, thank you guys very much. So, I, w I really want everybody... He's trying to sell some stuff and raise some money for himself. So, uh, which you should do. We have to sell stuff on these channels. It's how we keep going. Not all my auctions are for charity. A lot of them are for myself. So, uh, but I'm always specific which ones are and which ones aren't. So, I'm going to go... And encourage you guys to all go over to OCD for EDC and watch his channel. So go check that out. I hope you guys have had a good time. I really enjoyed hanging out. And thank you guys so much, everybody, for your very generous bids. Thank you so much to DTOM for that hugely generous bid of $500. I thank you. Feeding America thanks you. See you guys later.